Good day class. We will start this course by showing you the user interfaces and the basic parts of your AutoCAD software. Upon launching your AutoCAD application software, you will be directed towards your home page. In your home page, you have several options that you can make. You can start your drawing or create a new drawing by clicking on the start drawing icon. Clicking this icon will lead you to a new drawing without any pre-configured templates. If you wish to create a new blank drawing with the pre-configured settings including the installation of your AutoCAD software, you can click on the templates drop-down, which upon clicking it will show you the list of the pre-configured pre templates. You can also click to open your recent documents which are used or recently used in your computer. You can also open existing files using your by clicking on your open files icon found below your start drawing icon or by simply clicking Control and O on your keyboard simultaneously. Using the open files will make a dialog box appear. This dialog box is the standard file location dialog box where you can locate your files which you wish to open to your application software. Let us now proceed in creating our new blank drawing. You will then be directed towards your workspace. The center blank space or the largest space in the center of your application window is your working space where you can work on your different construction drawings such as your floor plans, elevations, and other working drawings that you wish to work on using this software. On the upper left corner of your application window, you will find your application menu in which by clicking the application menu icon, you will see several options. You can also see the list of the recent documents and clicking each listed documents will open it instantly. You can also create a new drawing using the new icon or by simply clicking Ctrl and N on your keyboard simultaneously. You can also open existing files by clicking the open icon or by pressing Ctrl and O on your keyboard simultaneously. You can also save your file to your PC or your computer by clicking the save icon or by pressing Ctrl and S on your keyboard simultaneously. Using the save icon or saving your document more than once in a single file will overwrite your existing file. It is advised that you frequently save your drawing in order to avoid repetition of your drawings in case of power shortages and blackouts or any unforeseen events. If you wish to save your file in a different location or a different file format or a different file name, you can do this by clicking on the Save As icon or by pressing Ctrl, Shift, and S on your keyboard simultaneously. At the bottom part of your application window, you can see the Options button. Clicking the option, Options button will make a dialog box appear. In this dialog box, which is the Options dialog box, you can configure your preferences in your application window or your application software, such as your display settings, the adjustment of the background color, the file path where you can automatically locate your file or the file format the sizes of your crosshair and the sizes of your marker sizes and their colors 
if you made any changes or any adjustments you can apply them by clicking the apply button and OK to exit the options bar next is the quick access toolbar located at the beside your applications menu icon the quick access toolbar contains the same icons as your application menu such as the creation of a new drawing opening of the existing drawing file saving your file and the save as icon below the applications menu and the quick access toolbar is your ribbon the ribbon consists of different parts the uppermost portion of your ribbon are your tabs. For example, you can see different tabs such as the Home, Insert tab, Annotate tab, Parametric tab, and so on. And within each tab, you can see a group of several icons grouped together in which we call Panel. In this example, under the Home tab, you have your Draw panel, Modify panel, the Annotation panel, the Layers panel, and so on. And within each panel, you have your different icons. Most panels have their drop-downs, in which the icons not seen basically will appear upon this drop-down. The next part of your, our user interface will be the in-editor elements which include the viewport control which will be later on discussed in this course. You have your view cube which will not focus much but to give you an overview, the view cube is used for mostly for 3D modeling. You have your navigation toolbar, which consists of the navigation wheel, the panning, the orbiting, in which most of these icons are used in 3D modeling. Upon the icons within the navigation toolbar, which we will use frequently in this course, is the pan or panning of the view. On the bottom right corner of your application window is your status bar which consists of several icons that affects your drawing display and your drawing settings. As you can notice, some of the icons are highlighted in blue and some are not. When the icon is highlighted in blue, it indicates that the icon or the option is on toggled or turned on. For example, we have the grid icon. So turning off the grid will remove the grid lines in our working space from our display. And turning it back on will display again the grid lines. Most of the most of the icons in your status bar can be toggled using your function keys on your keyboard. Next, we have the command bar, which shows a few lines of your command history. Also, in your command bar, you can, you can see the commands that you are typing or you are entering, and also the prompt which will you which you must do in in case you enter a specific command and lastly in the user interface you have your layout tab which will be emphasized later on in in your printing and layout section of this course but to give you an overview the layout tab or the layout tabs 
will shift your view from your model view and your layout view. The model view is where you will work on your drawing, such as your floor plan, while in your layout view, you will work more on your paper view, such as your layout, title blocks, your viewports, and so on. We will then proceed to the basic controls of your AutoCAD software.